class we have discussed about the electromagnetic force in that electromagnetic force some important electromagnetic forces are a contact force and tension we have discussed these both in last uh, class about contact force and tension and now in this class we are going to see about this bion force and viscous drag before going to see what is meant by a bion force first let us know what is meant by the fluid a fluid is nothing but so the substance which flows the substance which flows is called as fluid and we can consider mainly a liquids and gases liquids and gases are considered as fluids liquids are considered as fluids as well as gases are considered as fluids why because they are they have the ability to flow so they are called as fluids <coughs> and this bion force also can be mainly observed in the fluids for example you take a bucket full of water and take a empty tin empty tin and which is which have been sealed and now try to dip the tin into the bucket so actually the tin will float on the bucket and if you try to push into the water try to push into the water what happens while we are trying the bucket to uh, or tin into uh, water while we are trying the tin to push into the water uh, some force will try to push upward while we are pushing it downward one force will push upward so that force is called as bion force or it is named as upthrust upthrust will act on the tin so that is called as bion force so whatever the hardness we are trying to put it on the tin it will be pulled up with the same amount of force if you are trying very hard the force also will try hard to push up so that is nothing but a bion force so this bion force will act vertically upward whenever a body is on the surface of the fluid uh, definitely see any mass you consider a mass <coughs> or an object which is having a mass m so that object which is on the fluid of course it will have mass m and gravity will act on the body or object which is having mass m so this mass and gravity are vertically downward direction and this mg will be balanced by the upward force that is upthrust that is called as bion force so any mass or any body or any object will experience this bion force when it is on the fluid so now let us consider a small object consider a portion of a, a fluid this is some portion of fluid the fluid is in some what you call tin or something a beaker here i am considering a, a part a small part of the fluid and i am naming the part as a b c d so a b c d is a part of the fluid i am considering only this part this is all fluid only but i am taking only this part and <coughs> so i am drawing it outside so a b c d is a part of the fluid then this is a part no so this will have some mass emf so mass of the fluid mf and gravity will act vertically downward g and this 
this is balanced by an upward force by out force so when a part of the fluid this part of the fluid is at rest when all the part of the fluid is at rest then buoyant force b equal to m f g when the part of the fluid is at rest then buoyant force b equal to m f g and now you consider another situation or another case in this case now the part of the same fluid is moving upward with an acceleration a so oh, sorry now you consider the same part a b c d is moving vertically upward with an axis so this part of fluid b is moving vertically upward with an acceleration a so according to newton second law f equal to ma so here the force is it is moving vertically upward so b minus mfg is equal to mf ye or by this buoyant force b equal to mfg plus mf ye or this can be written as mf of g plus ye so this is the equation when the part of the fluid a b c d is moving vertically upward with an acceleration ye now let us consider the another situation when the part of the fluid a b c d is moving vertically downward with an acceleration y now if you consider that again uh, from the newton second law of motion f equal to m y here the force will be e that is equal to mf ye or this can be written as mfg you bring this side minus mf ye is equal to b or this can be written as b equal to mf of g minus ye so by on force b equal to mf of g minus ye when the part of the fluid a b c d is moving vertically downward with an acceleration a and here one more thing is if this part of the fluid a b c d is uh, fulfilled or is replaced replaced by an object which which is having same volume if the but the object is changed here irrespective of the fluid there is some iron or a wood then irrespective of the material the buoyant force will remains same and you consider a object this is an object which is made up of wood or iron so this is the object so mass of the object and gravity will act downward and buoyant force will act vertically upward buoyant force will not change here and one more thing if the mass of the uh, fluid or object and gravity is equal to buoyant force then the body will suspend the body will suspend if buoyant force b is greater than a mass of the object if buoyant force is greater than the mass of the object then the body starts to float if the buoyant force is less than the mass of the object and gravity then the body will sink so this is about buoyant force and now let us see the uh, viscous drag see viscous drag is nothing but when a body 
is in motion in a fluid already a body is in fluid and it is in motion then then there develops an opposing force the body is in motion in fluid then there develops an opposing force which opposes the motion of the body for example you can take a, a bird or a fish which is in water or which is in air so if the bird tries to move forward when the bird is moving forward some force will it will experience some force which drags its motion so that is called as viscous drag or for fish also it can experience the same when a fish is uh, moving or swimming in water in forward direction the force will act in backward direction so that force is called viscous force or viscous drag so viscous drag can be experienced by the birds fishes and man made aeroplanes ships and whatever the body is moving in the fluid of course we also experience this drag for example you consider you are driving on a bike while you are driving on a bike so you are going very fast then the air will push you back in opposite direction you are going forward in backward direction so opposite to your motion the air acts on you so that is called as viscous drag and this drag can be absorbed by any body which is in motion in fluid and this drag uh, depends upon some factors the factors are speed shape viscous drag acts or depend it depends see speed coming to speed if the speed increases the drag on the body also increases so we can say like this speed is directly proportional to drag if speed increases a drag increases if speed decreases drag will decrease and shape uh, by basing on the shape also the drag changes so that's why uh, god gave a gift to the fish which he will be in fluid and birds which will be always in fluid uh, they will have a streamlined shape the streamlined shape uh, mostly uh, starting it will be narrow and next it will uh, be broad or it will uh, conclude like this but initially it will be narrow see if you observe for bird a bird shape will be a streamlined shape and if you consider a fish fish also will have a streamlined shape starting it will be narrow so by that it can overcome the uh, motion in the fluid and uh, for if you consider for ships ships also will be manufactured uh, in a streamlined shape or if you consider for some cars also a cars will have a streamlined shape see a car with a streamlined shape will can overcome the viscous drag better which is not having a streamlined shape if one car is having streamlined shape one car is not having a streamlined shape so which will move better a car with streamlined shape will move faster and uh, with better speed and uh, what this viscous drag will do this viscous drag will reduce the speed of the bodies by that there will be if it is a uh, engine made like car or bus or any uh, vehicles so there will be some loss of energy there will be loss of some mechanical energy uh, in war com coming this friction or drag and a nature of depends upon the nature uh, if the nature changes 
then uh, drag changes and viscosity of fluid and if you consider uh, water and honey so honey is more viscous than water so if the viscosity increases a drag also increases if viscosity increases drag increases and size if it is a big sized one it experiences a more drag if the size is small it experiences less drag so basing upon the size a drag depends it may increase or decrease so these are the factors which influence the drag uh, uh, when a body is in motion in fluid so this is about a buoyant force and viscous drag thank you